It is bank holiday weekend and really, really hot here on Carnaby Street. And look, I just noticed coronation in Carnaby. And look at that, you've got the crown above a sparkling Carnaby with the Union Jack. Carnaby Street's a really lovely little street to wander around. And if you get to the top of it, you get to Liberties, which is quintessentially English. The Liberty print and fabric is famous and world-renowned. This is the windows of Liberties. got the official cipher, well, not cipher, coronation symbol, and lots of shortbread and tea and London buses, all things British, and they've got their bunting up. So we're just having a look up to up Regent Street. All the flags are up along the, the street. It's really gorgeous to see. It's really fabulous, especially on a Sunday day, on a, on a Sunday day, on a sunny day. Look at that London bus. And we're at Oxford Circus. Really did feel like a circus this bank holiday weekend. Lots and lots of people, because it's the first properly hot day. And look there, look there, we spin around Regent Street and Oxford Street, all with their flags flying high. So I wandered up Oxford Street to John Lewis and Partners to see what was going on there. They've got the official coronation symbol, surrounded by beautiful daffodils and thistle, shamrock and rose. I love that background. So I carried on in to see what they have in store. And look at that, lots of Union Jack, Emma Bridgewater mugs. We've got the jelly bean tins. Oh, and that's a nice cushion there, isn't it? It's got uh, King Charles on. I, I keep wanting to say Prince Charles. <laughs> I'm still getting used to that. Lots of lovely looking chocolates. Oh, yes. Charbonnel and Walker. They're very, very nice. Then along the bottom, they've got some Liberty jigsaws and London Calling tube jigsaws. And look at this, it's like a crown from Charbonnel and Walker. That's really clever, I like that, it's really nice. I bet they're tasty too. Imagine, are they salted caramel? Oh, we've got tea from Wittards. And look at this, the Crown Martini, which is a limited edition, special edition cocktail. That sounds yummy. Have you got your bunting and your balloons ready? Party like royalty. Red, white and blue there. And at the back you've got some paper chains. That would be really nice for a street party, wouldn't it? Anybody having a street party, let me know below. I'd be really interested. And they've got the bunting out here just to show you what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. And this one's a fabric one. And they've got windmills, which had the Union Jack on. I really like those. They're rather nice. And just look at that display. It's so colourful. Oh, and look at this. Gin tin. Who does not like gin? And who does not like a tin of gin? <laughs> that's really clever. I've never seen something like that before. I think that's um, a special release by John Lewis. Have to have a have to have a taste of that, I think. I just really like this display. They've got the telephone box decorations and soldier decorations, which, you know, that's just a memento of, of London and <laughs> very quintessentially uh, British, isn't it? So then we carried on to New Bond Street to have a look what's there. And here we find something. Look at this. So this is the East India Tea Company and they've got special edition tea that's really really nice look at that the coronation rejoice history in the making limited edition tea edition so that's really nice so this is looking down new bond street so what it's a lovely little street to wander down it's got all the very uh high-end shops on like chanel and a lot of jewelers um like Bulgari and Ermi. So this was the first one we stopped off at called Swain, which is a gentleman outfitters. Look at that. You've got the bowler hat, the suit, the bag, the black gloves. Oh, and an umbrella. 
That's very, very British, isn't it? <laughs> Although it doesn't rain that much in London, I promise. So they've got God Save the King. Look at that. Black umbrella, bowler hat. Very British, that is. Then we carried on down to the shop called Smithson, which I just think this is a gorgeous window. Look at those beautiful flowers. They've got a photo of King Charles. Many congratulations on your coronation and warm wishes to Queen Camilla. We extend our thanks for your continuous dedication and commitment. So their estation is a very nice one too. Carrying on down, we came to across Harry Winston and some beautiful jewellery sparkling in the window there. So they've got the official coronation logo. Below some beautiful jewels. It's quite hard with all the reflections, but it is stunning. That was Boodles. Then further down, you've got Charbonnel and Walker, the actual shop. So we saw some of the stuff in John Lewis. But this is a whole shop devoted to Charbonnel and Walker. Really nice. Look at the bunting there. And then Mappin and Webb. Oh, look at that. What a gorgeous little window. They've got the, the animals that come in the royal coat of arms. It's really lovely. Really, really nice. It's such a lovely, lovely street. And then we came across the Caviar House, which is right next to the Ritz. So, Caviar, His Majesty's Fine Caviar. Wowie, that's quite a, a claim, isn't it? <laughs> to, uh, to, supply the to supply the caviar for, for His Royal Highness. And here we are, we got to the Ritz. I mean, the Ritz is stunning. If you ever get a chance to go for afternoon tea, it is divine. Really, really divine. So then I caught a bus and we whipped up the King's Road. And along the King's Road, I came across this beautiful display. So it's the Royal Coat of Arms celebrating the coronation of Charles III. It's got the two magnificent heraldic beasts of the legend, lion and the unicorn, each over three metres tall. It's made from natural materials and it incorporates the Union Jack flag colours. And it was brought to life in coconut husk, pampas, grass, rose and delphinium, which is a favourite flower of our new king. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. I think whoever's put that together is incredible. Really, really fabulous. I couldn't quite get over looking at it. So that's halfway down the King's Road. If you if you happen to be in the area or passing, definitely worth seeing. So we carried on up and we came through this beautiful arch. This is always beautifully decorated. It changes throughout the seasons. It's right opposite Peter Jones at the top near Sloane Square. And you come through into a secret little square, which is nice and quiet and calm. As you can see, this has been festooned with flags as well. So it's a lovely, it's a lovely place to come just off the hustle and bustle of the King's Road because it can get particularly busy at the weekends or on sunny days. But this is really beautiful and this leads down to was the Saatchi Gallery, which is also definitely worth a visit if you happen to be to be around. And then round the corner, you come round to Duke of York Square, which was also festooned with flags. And then there's Partridges. Now, Partridges is a fabulous shop. I mean, look at this entrance. So you've got the red, white and blue flowers with Charles across the top. Just to the right, you can see the Royal Warrant. So that means Partridges supplies the Royal Household. And then in we come. Oh, look, we've got a life-size image of King Charles himself. And look at that display. Lots of Union Jack stuff again with a crown on the top. So you've got mugs. And now Nye Timber is an English sparkling wine. And this is a special edition I believe, for the coronation. Oh, I love these plates. I'm going to have to get one of these, I think, maybe. 
I just love the colours and I love how they've done that, the coronation symbol. I think it's so clever. This is a closer look at the Nanai Timber. So this is specially limited edition just for the coronation. And then further round we've got more King Charles biscuit tins oh, and the little Paddington biscuit tins. Really, really wonderful to see. And then on this wall, this is a uh, in memory of our late Queen, the Queen Elizabeth II. I love the picture of where she's when she's younger. I think it's really beautiful. So a lot more biscuit tins. So Partridges sells everything. It's basically a grocer's. Um, look at that old oh, gin, gin and tonic. <laughs> That's another, so now this is a Chelsea gin and tonic, so that's very apt since we're in the Chelsea area. But look, you've got flags and balloons and flowers. And back to this display, because I just love it. Really, really nice. And this, I love, Cartwright and Butler biscuit tin for the coronation of His Royal Highness. And then this is back out on Duke of York Square, looking along King's Road. Going down to David Lindley's bespoke furniture shop on Pimlico Road. Look at that King Charles stamp and the crown. Now I believe these are made out of tiny, tiny little maybe mother of pearl buttons or something, but it's exquisite, intricate work. I just love it. Then next door to that we had Luke Irwin's uh, handmade rugs. And look at that, you've got the Union Jack with the nation symbols really beautiful so this is just a look up Pimlico Road it's really pretty round here they have a farmers market at the weekend and they've got their flags up as well ready for the festivities next Saturday now we came up to Victoria to cool Britannia now this is a little bit of a tacky shop now <laughs> tacky cups tacky plates but sometimes that's all you need but look over there, that's rather nice. The waistcoat cushions and uh, seats, those are rather nice. I like that. And then I came round to St. James's Park where there is a new addition. Look at this. It is a new lamppost which has been specially commissioned by British Gas. Look, there's Charles III's cipher. And I must say that this is a gas light. Look at that in gold. Really, really beautiful. So keep your eyes open in St. James's Park. And um, that was really wonderful to, to just come across like that. And it's got the official coronation symbol in gold there. Just having a look at the next preparations. You can see the double barriers in place there. And you can see some people straight opposite are starting to camp out for the coronation next Saturday. So that's, you know, that's commitment, really. Um, about five days to go. All the flags are up. Lots of barriers out now. You still can't walk down the middle of the mall anymore. And that's just a look towards Buckingham Palace and that's the side of the seating. So they've got that lovely blue with the four nation symbols imprinted on the side, which I think is lovely. So I had to walk through St. James's Park and I absolutely love this tree. It's a pink cherry blossom. And look at this. We've got the mummy and daddy geese with their little babies. Sorry, I know it's not particularly coronation, but I couldn't resist. Look at them. <laughs> All in line. Hopefully, like the soldiers will be uh, on uh, Saturday. I'm sure they're practicing extra hard. I've heard they've been having rehearsals in a special Special location on an air base. Um, you wouldn't want anything, anything to be going wrong. So I imagine every last detail will be accounted for. But St James's Park is gorgeous to wander through. And the flowers at this time of year are particularly beautiful. And of course you get lots of little baby geese too. So we're back in front of Buckingham Palace. This is the seating which has now, now got a beautiful side on. Blue again, and the Four Nation symbols panning around to the Victoria Memorial and Buckingham Palace. So they have now closed it off to cars, which is quite nice. It means you can walk freely around. 
I do wonder who gets to sit in those seats. They will be extremely lucky on Saturday. I really, really wish I could sit there too. <laughs> uh, we can dream, but at least we'll be able to witness most of it either on television or maybe a little bit in person. We'll have to see. This is just a closer look at the Victoria Memorial. It really, it's beautiful. And I still haven't worked out what this blocking is for. I had thought it was the could be for the media, but it seems to be going all the way around. So we'll have to find that out. So there's Buckingham Palace nearly ready for all its festivities on Saturday. It's getting exciting, isn't it? Please subscribe.